from one new chip plant to, yes, breaking news today of another right here stateside. Let us take you southeast from Ohio to North Carolina, where the state just landed a huge business investment. Chipmaker Wolfspeed is planning to build the largest silicon carbide plant in the world in Durham to boost chip production and meet the surge in demand for electric vehicles. The Wolf shares right now seeing a nice pop here, about $2.73 or 2.5%. Joining us live with the big news from North Carolina in a Fox Business exclusive is Wolfspeed president and CEO Greg Lowe. Greg, wow, big news. Congratulations. Tell us what this is going to be and how it came about. Well, thanks a lot for having me, Liz. And what an amazing day it was today here in North Carolina. We met with the governor and a whole bunch of other folks announcing this new factory. Now, we make semiconductor chips, you know, which obviously are very, very important for the U.S. economy. And we make them on a technology called silicon carbide. We currently have in North Carolina the world's largest silicon carbide manufacturing plant. The one that we announced today will be greater than 10 times bigger than that. Mm. So we're taking the biggest factory and making it a whole lot bigger. And that's because of the surging demand for this technology uh, worldwide. And here we are producing it right here in the United States. Super exciting day for us. Well, yeah, I mean, and let me talk about the, the workforce that is there. I mean, this takes some skilled labor, does it not? Talk about how you expect to get people trained uh, from at least the surrounding region. Well, today we announced that we're, we're going to be building this new factory. We announced in conjunction with it a deepening partnership we have with NCANT University. Uh, NCANT is a, H, a historically black college and university. It graduates the most black engineers in the country. They are one hour drive from where our headquarters are, and they're about a 40 minute drive for where this facility is going to be. So we've announced a partnership with them for workforce development, intern programs, scholarship programs, and so forth. We work with other universities as well in this area too, and so this is a very rich area in terms of uh, engineering schools and universities and so forth. So we feel super excited about the ability to attract and develop some of the greatest minds in this technology. Brilliant. You know, that 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 is music to many people's ears where you are going right there to the area and saying, we want you to work here. I mean, Tesla has done the same thing. They have in Texas partnered up with some of the nearby mm -hmm. universities and some of them very technical and they're training them. This is exactly how it should be. Greg, we're really looking at chips for EVs at this point. Tell me exactly who you expect to partner with and what an announcement like this does for future partners. Well, this substantially increases our capability to serve the needs of this technology. The adoption of electric vehicles, the adoption of silicon carbide in electric vehicles is basically through the roof right now. So the demand is just skyrocketing up. And this is really going to to increase our ability to serve our customers. We've made announcements together with General Motors, with Lucid Motors in, in the United States, with Borg Warner and ZF, uh, tier one suppliers. We've got a number of different companies that are um, engaged with us. And so it's really gonna help foster the adoption of electric vehicles. And the reason for that is quite simple. Silicon carbide, when used in an electric vehicle, will, have, will allow the car to go five to 15% further in range wow. than if you use silicon. This is a giant um, improvement and one that, that will help eliminate the so-called range anxiety that people have with electric vehicles. If your car will drive a lot further, you're gonna be less concerned about you know, the ability to, to yeah. charge it up. Yeah. Silicon carbide also enables the car to be charged faster. And so you can add 300 miles of range in 20 okay. minutes of charging. So, you know, this is this is a technology that's really going to help enable this uh, this adoption of EVs. Well, a hearty congratulations. And uh, when the groundbreaking happens, we want to be there. Are you going to invite President Biden? I will invite whoever wants to come. And, <laughs> okay, uh, you know, <laughs> the I, claim and I, countdown I, wants we'll to come. absolutely have you. Yeah. We, I was definitely at the White House when President Biden signed the CHIPS Act. We're very uh, supportive of that and, and thankful for uh, for Congress and Senate for passing that mm, bill. Mm. And, and you've applied for a grant from the Ch Chips and Science Act. Um, so when do you expect to get that money? 
we're understanding that the, the the grants will start coming out in uh, in the first quarter of next year. Okay. Um, there's a whole application process that'll happen later on this year. Um, but, but part of the the grant uh, process is a requirement to get local and state funding. I see. And we've certainly got that here in North Carolina. Sure so we do. feel very very bullish about that. Greg, uh, congratulations to the whole Wolfspeed team. Thank you so much. Thanks, Liz. All Bye-bye. right.